this week's episode of the pod. Um, just with a shorter game week, uh, we've just watched Tottenham and United have a bit of a slugfest in a 2-2. Um, how are we doing, guys? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, yeah good. I still haven't played yet, so I can't I be disappointed. Say, we've, all had, we've all had no heart break this weekend. Um, I think if we just start off with Man United, Tottenham, um, what did you think overall? And then we'll go into the specifics. Fairly even game, I think. Um, I think I think it's lucky to be a draw, draw, to be honest. I would have preferred Tottenham to get the result over United. Um, I didn't think Rashford was very good for most of the game. I know he got a goal. I know that's going to be the first thing that people are going to comment on. But genuinely, the, the only reason Hoyland scored is because he managed to get the ball back off him and put it in the net. That stat that Roy Keane came out the other day that he's the least pass to centre and forward is is mental. And just being a selfish cunt. I actually thought United in the first half weren't too bad. I thought the second half Spurs just seemed to keep playing play them out of a game. Um, I don't know if you want to go through the lineups. I, I, like when it, it's not in a because Gary Neville's weird. He like he like makes an excuse and then he he makes an excuse and goes back on it in the same game. But like when you look at Spurs' lineup, they've pretty much got their lineup now. Like well, it was like Gary Neville. In my opinion, he will only use the lineup as an excuse if they don't get the result. If they do, he goes, "Alright, so it's That's a hell of an achievement getting it with those lack of players." He's just like, "Fuck off." Yeah, it's, it, they were like, they were. I don't know if you agree, Gav, but he was kind of like going, "Oh, well, you know, as well, you know, well, United, you know, aren't really in the game against Spurs' second eleven. You go through that team; they've got their back four first choice, their goalkeeper first choice, Benton Kerr's in there, Richarlison's there." Johnson's on the right wing, who probably is going to be a mainstay most of the season. So, what they're missing, Son and Kudelski, Madison, yeah, Asuma for, for, for four, and then even then, you probably find Johnson. Well, no, Johnson won't start then. Actually, Kudelski will go out that side. It's a four. No, I I disagree. I think they'll keep Johnson in. If I'm being honest. What Ola Kudelski? Yeah. Well, okay, I, think, I think you can use Kulazewski to come off the bench and actually kill off teams when they're when they're a bit uh, running low on fucking energy and stuff. Kulazewski can. How did hmm? you think Werner did? I think he played well. I do. I do think he played well. I, I, I enjoyed the assist. Oh, well, that was good. It was. I think he could have had a bit more of the ball and got more a bit more involved. But the assist, I, I, I think he'd take that. I. Yeah. I think Werner, Ken Watt, when he was getting the ball, he was driving at the defence, he was trying to beat his man, he was trying to get to the byline, cross it in, he was trying to actually do stuff, so fair play. But he shooting today, he didn't have his fucking shooting boots on. Yeah, and the like, one that ended up in the Stratford upper. Well, I upper, reckon so. where the fuck it ended up. Like, yeah. it, 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 it probably hit Neville in the commentary. Like, it was that fucking poor. Um, but to be fair... His first game, he's got an assist, so he's doing something right. But he needs it as a striker. He needs to be able to fucking hit the target. Uh, mm. As far as I know, he didn't hit the target at all today. And uh, no, I don't think he did. No. Um, <laughs> to go through the goals, Hoyland's first goal. What an absolute fucking rocket! I thought he did well he's... after after Rashford choosing to be selfish and try and overplay it and getting the ball back and just going for goal. And I think. I don't think he's as big or he's going to be as big as United fans make him out to be the next Haaland and all that bollocks. But it shows that if you get him, give him the ball in front of goal and he seems to be able to put it away. I just I just think I think more United players need to look up and pass rather than just being selfish and trying try to overcook a play. If he passed I it think... first time, Hoyland probably would have buried it again. I don't agree. No? No, Hoyland can only seem to actually score a goal when he puts everything into it. If he tries to fucking place it, it never fucking goes in. The two, I think the two goals he scored is when he's absolutely put his laces through it and the keeper just has no chance. It's when he actually tries to be a, a, a technical striker, it doesn't work. He I, needs I, to be one of those poachers yeah. and just absolutely smash it in. Do you think I, I'd agree to a certain extent. Um, I, I don't think he meant to place that right in the top left. He mm, just, he just like put his foot through it thinking, if I hit this hard, Vicaro's not going to get in the way of it. Yeah. Um, again, Didn't... I don't want to use this because I, I don't like the terminology, but it isn't his fault. Obviously, they're signing for 70 million, but at the same time, 
Like when you got a man he United, don't get enough of the ball in my opinion. He needs to get more of the ball, and then I think he'll. Be, I think he, he needs to do more, more with it when he does so. True, but I think I think the chances that he gets it is what what was it? We worked out something like he'd had like double digit passes or for, uh, this what? year or something when Roy Kane was doing the stat. Was it against Wigan? From I Wigan. think I think we watched it against we uh, watched United v Wigan, and he had two chances where you have to score. As a seventy million pound striker, you need to do. You need to actually get it on target and actually in the back net. And he both the times he completely fluffed it. So I get what you mean. Like get the get the ball to him. But when he does get those chances, yes, he just fucking balloons it. it. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't do anything with it. And then, as I said, the lot the two times he scored, his fucking boots came off of the ball. Fucking basically. Yeah, yeah. You can't. I love seeing one of those finishes though, where they just put their foot through it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks lovely, but. Can, how, much, he, how much he knew about it is probably a bit suspect. In my opinion, he's a bit lucky that it came to him. Oh, so it's obviously Rashford, yeah. Rashford's run in and it's it's just happened to go back to him. Fair enough, you need to be there to get the ball to score. But it's lucky how the goal came about. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, first Spurs goal was Richarlison on a, on a corner, which, by the way, I'm just going to go out and say, if you're man-to-man marking... This should never happen. He had three men on him. Sorry? He had three men on him when he jumped to get what the I'm ball saying, and none of them they, actually when done they anything. Looked, when they looked like it, Mainu was in front of him and then Mainu just went away. He just was it Mainu? decided... Yeah, yeah, he just decided not to cover his man. That's another thing I want to have a bit of a thing about Gary Neville. Could... If someone makes a shocking error on another team... He's, he's fully went, oh, it's a set piece. It's one of the easiest things. Just keep your man. But then when it's Kobe Mainu because he's young and he's a United player, he's like, oh, no, well, well, that, no, well, you know, that can be done. Yeah, I'll bless him. Richarlison, yeah. Richarlison at 5'10". Mm. Pigeon face cunt. Yeah. Uh, fancy letting him score. Good, good header, though. Good to yeah, yeah. Good find, it was good to find the con, though. Good, good positioning. I'm just, I just don't, I, I you don't get it. there, though. Yeah, like, exactly. He shouldn't be the only one jumping for the ball. Yeah, like, and I, that, that's just poor. I don't know if you agree, but when a kick, when it goes into that, when it goes into like the inner penalty box as well, the inside penalty box, I like my keeper to come out and try and get it. But I, I'm not saying anything. I've had fucking <laughs> Ramsdale and Raya doing that's no worked out, but I, just I get like, what you mean. I, it, for I know, me, I, know, I want I my centre back to be more commanding. One of oh. them, do you know what I mean? Though either like yeah. Onana come out. I know obviously against Wolves he made a bit of a hash of it, but go out and try and fist it away, or a centre back takes. You know, mate, you have Rand in there. What, what what's he doing? Yeah. You, you like as you say, you've got a World Cup winner in there. He knows how to fucking clear the ball. He didn't even go up for it. Onana yeah. didn't even like shout for it. He didn't even. It just looked like one big mess. It looked like they went hmm. from man marking to zonal marking to not marking at all. Yeah, and it was just it like as I say, he had three men on him. Not one of them jumped on. Did it feel a Man. bit like both the teams just didn't know how to defend? Did that come yeah. across for everyone else? Yeah, it was very, uh, it was very clumsy. I think the I think the Udogi nearly own goal moment kind of summed it up. I, I don't know what he was doing. He's been put in the team of this season so far. Yeah. I just don't. I, he nearly I don't agree with that. In his own fucking net, and he didn't even like. When, see when you look, see the camera pan to his face. He had no fucking idea what he was doing. Uh, he just off. is the best left his... back in the league so far this season. His... I don't agree. You don't, you don't have to agree. That's a good no. thing about opinions, right? Gosh, yeah, I... everyone's got one. I, I don't. I don't see anybody like being better. Right. No, I All think right. Emerson's Emerson's a shout up there though. Mm. I think Emerson Palmer is a shout up there though. He's not had any. I don't. I can't remember a bad game he's had this year. That you doggy, he, he does it. He, he he's a fifty pence. You fr- you, you just flip him and see what's way he's going to go. Good or bad performances, you don't really know what you're going to get from him. Forwards, good, but going back, oh my god! Uh, I don't know. I thought he was pretty decent in the day. Apart from a header in his own net, near enough. Apart yeah. apart for that, he, he, he who was on his side? It wasn't a Rashford. Uh, no, no, it was a uh, no. Garnacho. He held him off. For most of the fucking game, I think there was only maybe one or two times where Garnacho's actually got past him. Yeah, but you don't rate Garnacho. But when he did get past him, do I. I don't rate Garnacho. But you have to, your defender still has to shut those players out. Garnacho is tricky and fast. That's all he is. That's why I don't like him. Don't think there's any skill to it. 
but he's he, he is fast with the ball. Udogi when when he got past him, he just caught up on him and held him off. I don't know. He just feels like a left back version of Trent, and everyone goes in on Trent for not being very good defensively. But this boy seems to be. I don't know if no, I agree no with that criticism comment. can be levied at him. I just I don't I don't understand why because he's an inverted fullback. Um, no, no, I don't think I think everyone can can critique players and stuff. I don't I, think I it's a case young. of no I'm one. Can. He, I'm not saying he's a finished product. I just don't see the difference in comparing the two. Trent gets so much shit for being a right back that can't defend, but this Udogi is apparently like team of the season because you know he's good. I going don't forward. think he can't defend. I think that's a bit harsh. Oh, I, I, I don't think the boy can tackle. And he also... Okay, answer me this. What was that header for on that post? Was that, that was, one it was meant to go out. himself? No, no, he was meant, it, was, uh, it was meant to go out, but I don't understand why he's headed towards goal. I, I mean, right. yeah. I just think he wanted his fucking name on the, the score sheet. I thought he went, fuck it, go on. And then he's just gone... Uh, but I, I agree with Gav, but then Gary Neville said in the replay, he thought it was him... Pass it back to his keeper. If he's nah. putting a power header into his keeper like that, by the way, <laughs> his keeper might as well take his head off. Because I tell you what, that is a that is a hospital ball. Yeah. Um, you, know, you know what as well, Gary Neville. Uh, there we go. Was he a fucking striker in his day? No. No, he's he wasn't. A right back. He tells you what the striker should or shouldn't be doing, but then when it comes to the centre backs, it's always, oh. Ken, it's a difficult position, but mate, that that was you're you're a fullback, you are a, a right back, and you're trying to tell Rashford that he should have cut, he should have hit it with his left. He, like, yeah, I, no, I, I don't understand that. that. I, I agree no, with that though, hit him with his left. I I do and I don't. I think when the man was like that, he sat the man down, and I think he thought he had more time than what he did, and it yeah. just happened. Benton he got a toe on it. If he didn't have a toe on it, he's got a free shot, and then Neville isn't saying fuck all. Yeah, no, I get that. Can I just ask, the last thing about the first half I want to ask, I th- the, the Benton Coeur pass away over to Werner at the free kick, you know, and he got a yellow card for it after it was clearly blown. It's not a yellow. Oh, it absolutely is a yellow. No, Ken, when you know why I say it's not? It's because no one else is doing it. Oh, right, okay, right. In, okay. in the eyes, of the, in the in eyes the of the law at the start of the season... It's a yellow. Right, and okay. you've done it for about two weeks. And then after that, none. And then you have like one referee once a month go, I've kicked the ball away. Hey, that's where I think. Since the first week. I, I think no, that's I, where it's unfair I, I'd on agree on that. I'd agree on that. On the consistency side, no, it shouldn't be. But I do agree that it, I, I think oh, that it, it is. It should be a yellow, yeah. But it's not because when was the he's last time one it given? away. And then as he's kicked it away, he's looked at the ref. And Hoiberg's already doing that right up at the ref's face. And you're like. <laughs> You're getting carded, mate. Like, yeah. you've made it so blatantly obvious what you're doing. Um, Hi, Hoiberg. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just laughing at Hoiberg because he, he's he done that, and then he's, he spent like thirty seconds having a phone go to the referee, and then he's just went, <laughs> and it's like, like, what was your, what was your argument? Like, you've just waved your hands in the he's referee. Like, did you not like, see him do that? He went, didn't hear. I didn't hear, the, didn't hear the whistle and didn't see the geezer do that. <laughs> for a free kick it's, just, it's, it's nuts the Rashford second goal by the way so well taken I actually thought it was a nice yeah. little pattern of play as well actually I think it's a bit was it lucky was it a deflection that went back to Rashford yeah. or was it a pass deflection I think um, I couldn't tell you Don Acho went to put the ball in does it not come off a defender and go to Rashford possibly I don't, I don't know it was like a pattern of play and then Rashford said, I mean just don't stop them do you um, it was brilliant to find the corner for that little angle he had yeah um, they probably would have been happy going in the first half at 2-1 wouldn't they they would have took 2-1 I think um, I don't know I think in the first half you had United started off really quickly and then Spurs got into the game and then United finished on top so I'd, I guess if if you're United you'd expect to go in because you had more of the bigger chances in the first half to go in with them so yes, I get what you're what you're saying, but no. At the same time, United should have went in a goal up, two goals up even. Yeah. Um, but what um, a goal for Benton Cool in the fucking second half, though. Yeah, that second half, yeah, it came out straight away. What a finish! I'll give him his dues. I don't. Fifty particularly rate seconds him, but... it took. Fifty fucking seconds. That's Man- that's Man United, though. I'm sorry, that is Man United all year. That will just be Man United. They can't defend, <laughs> and they just yeah. 
But how do you lazy. start the game so well, but you can't start the second half the same tempo? By the way, we're like that though. I don't. Know, I don't want to always drag it back to West Ham, but we we at the start of a game is terrible, and then our second half we usually come out a bit um, straight away. We're usually kind of hot on the press, but nah, I, I, I agree. Yeah, like especially at home as well, you can't just fall asleep in the first five minutes of a game in the second no. half, and no. it wasn't actually. They just. They they started slow and then they just continued being slow. Yeah, it's like they half. just didn't catch up with the momentum they created in the first half. It was just like gaggy. It was like a game of two forty five minutes, a game of two halves. You know what I mean? They yeah. thought, yeah, we we've won it in the first half. We'll just coast it in the second. And to be pl- to be fair to Spurs, they kind of put their their foot on their necks and it was like. We'll put you to the fucking sword here. Do you think they deserve I mean, to win? They didn't end though? up winning, but they should have. Yeah, I was going to ask that. Uh, again, it's like, as I said, two games, a, a game of two halves. United in the first half should have went up. They should have went in to the break, a go up. Spurs should have finished the game with a win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, can, I don't know if it was the fact that Spurs just didn't take their chances when they came, but... I can. Spurs definitely should have won, though. I thought they had better chances. I think every stat is better when I looked at it before we before we started. I'm going to ask just a final question because there ain't much to talk about really in the second half. I think overall Spurs were just better. Their subs, by the way, that Dragusin. Where does he play? I, don't know. I thought he was a centre back. He what, wasn't playing centre back when he came on. The, the new boy they've just signed up, Radu. Yeah, the Romanian. Ah, he's meant to be a centre back. Oh, okay, maybe it was just me. Maybe I didn't see it right. But I just didn't think he was playing centre back when he came on. Um, and then even even when Van der Ven went off, uh, Emerson Royale picked up right centre back. Maybe maybe put that Radu in CDM to just kind of shoot up the midfield a bit. Yeah, I think they're still they're still also as well. I, I said this I said this to you then I on Saturday or Friday night. Um, if I'm Spurs, I don't play Van der Ven. Um, I'll rest him with a hamstring injury. I'll wait until he's fully, fully fit before I risk him. I don't think Man United is one of those games that you needed to play a particular strong back line against. They don't really offer much up front. And as well now, hopefully hopefully for Spurs fans, he's not gone off with another aggravation of that. But I don't see the need in, in, in making that. You've got a week off now. Do you know what I mean? I think I think with with that as well is in the second half if you've got United not sitting back but not really threatening your goal either, why keep him on? Bring bring somebody else on. Just give him sixty minutes. Give him a bit of game time. Not the whole ninety or attempt to do the whole ninety. Yeah, I think that was a, that was a strange decision by Ange. They, but I think they've literally got the when's the whenever that City's the next game for the FA Cup, which is the which is the last weekend in January. So I think they have about just shy of two weeks. So I don't know why they didn't just rest him another two weeks and then to be honest with you, I wouldn't even plan against Man City because Man City in the FA Cup be going out. But obviously that's his own choice. But Ange knows better than I do. Um, but yeah, no, that's pretty much it. The only person I want to give a shout out to, I think Project Poro was absolutely brilliant today. Yeah. Pass on the ball, yeah. Got a couple of decent passes into the box and all. Going forward, going back, workhorse. I didn't realise how quick he was as well. He, mm. Here's a stat. No Spurs defender has had more season assists than Pedro Porro. That's including Kyle Walker. Does he go into the season? Credit to Porro. Nah, Porro doesn't get a prick. No, but I that. can still appreciate it. Um, I want to kind of go on about McTominay right okay. at the end to Fair win enough. it for United. How the fuck are you not putting that on target? I know he's a, cent- a CDM centre mid, but he, uh, he, come on. He's he's up in plenty of time, and instead of heading it down, he's just went both. Like, he's not even tried to do anything with it. He just went, oh, if it hits my head, it'll go in. It, it didn't. Yeah, but you need no. to be scoring those. You, yeah, you do right. fucking need to. I'd agree mm. with that. I think Spurs deserve to win, but I think probably on the chances, how they laid out, you probably find Man United kicking themselves that McTominay didn't put that in. Because I don't think Spurs yeah. have any clear-cut chance in the second half that I can remember of. None that um, come to mind. I think um, Werner should have tested on Anna a bit for a couple. Um, he tested the ball, boys, in the second... In, in, in the, uh, no, he didn't. He tested, that... he tested the hell. fucking director's box. That's yeah. what he fucking did. 
ended up at the Etihad. Um, <laughs> the uh, the only other game I want to have a look at, I, the Everton Aston Villa one was a was boring. Um, was Newcastle Man City. Um, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was a brilliant game. Um, just kind of did you did you watch it? Um, I, I, I watched most of it. Yeah, but I mean Bernardo Silva's goal. Just Jesus Christ! Amazing. The boy is still class, unreal. And then and then he sh- he's half volley, saying like two minutes later, oh my god, what is he I, doing? That was, that was a good save by the Bravka, to be fair. He has no right to yeah. get that on his weak foot. No, absolutely no. not. I agree with that as well. Yeah, the Brav car was fast save, unreal. Ah, uh, can, can with that game, Newcastle had two class moments, and that was fucking it. I was, and was both the goals, and both of them were carbon copies. If you look at it, playing down the right and then think and then fizzing over to the left, yeah. and both of them finished on the far right. Brilliant! It was really good to find the the top corner, the in the corner as well, and. Fair to Gordon, I reckon if it went through the legs or what, but it's, it's all, as you say, it's almost carbon copy. Mm. But apart from that, same old boring Newcastle. And then Arsenal's arsehole clenched when the ginger giant came on, the best midfielder in the Premier League and probably the world, um, and uh, and showed what he does. I just, which I, I, is, I, I, yeah. Which Win. is score? Yeah, exactly. I was saying this to you when I've been yesterday. It's like if that game is without Bru- uh, Bru- uh, De Bruyne, they they the maximum they do is draw that. Yeah, but yeah, and I, I think sorry, go on. for him to come back from injury and hit form so fucking fast is it just proves why he's the best. He is just he's the best. Back, I said this. No, but I if this. he's the best, he should do that. No, that's no, no. But that's what I mean. This this proves that he's the best. He comes off of a well, long term injury. He comes back and he hits form immediately, and he just Gabby changes reckons, games. He's unbelievable. Gabby reckons it doesn't matter because it was against Huddersfield last week. So uh, I, 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 think I agree with the fact that right Huddersfield is an easier team to play against, but he can still show that he's world class because he just he just changes games. That I'll point stick any with my team fucking point. to make you a winner. I will stick with my point, and my point stands. He should be doing it against the lower teams. It's more impressive when he comes and does it at St James's Park. Is my is my um thing on it? It's mm-hmm. more impressive, but it's it's still Huddersfield. I'm it's... sorry if if City got beat off of Huddersfield. No, but what then I, what it's, I a, said it's a was... fucking drastic fucking measure. No, but what I said was when he came on, he didn't look like he just got fit. He looked fucking ready. Mm-hmm. And then that that goal is brilliant because he, he that pocket of space he picks up behind I think it was was it Longstaff it was one of the holders probably he picks it up behind him turns and literally weak foot megs one of the defenders and puts it straight in the bottom left and then that pass for the second goal I love Paqueta for some of the assists he's done can't do that Oscar Bob took the piss out of Dubravka oh I know I was going to say that absolutely milked the boy is he Fucking... not like he's eighteen as well, isn't he? Oh, he's uh, he's very young. Like, yeah, he's like he's either just out of the academy or 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 like he's eighteen twenty, I think. I tell you yeah, what, to, to to take it on to take it on your left to then drip to then put it on your right and just slot it in. Yeah, it's the audacity. Lovely. It's the audacity of an eighteen year old. Go, Ken, what you've been a Premier League goalkeeper for four years. I've been a Premier League player for what half a season. I'm gonna put you on your fucking arse. Not just that, on your ass and I should take it round you. Yeah. yeah. I love uh, it, man. I love the arrogance. Yeah. Especially when you well, know you're that good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was impressed with the Browner coming on and doing it, like, hitting the ground running. I said, no, two seconds. My point still stands. To do it at St. James' Park is better than doing it against Huddersfield. Yeah, but it's more that, it, for me, it's more the fact of having a long term injury, just coming back and just smashing fuck out of people straight away. Is 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 so, my point is usually a lot of players no but like so a lot of players would take a couple of warm up games where they get a couple of minutes here and there, they'd show a bit of what they had, and then when they get a full game you see him come back to normal. No, he's just gone right, I'm back. And he's just straight right. back in. If it was an Arsenal player, right? It doesn't matter because it's against a lower opposition. They should be doing it. 
I would. No, say. It's no, no, no. So you're wrong. Yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I like Odegaard. Right. I like I like Trossard. If they had a long term injury, came back and sat the absolute fuck out of someone, they get just as much praise. I wasn't the making... difference is they're also not on the same level as... Yeah, I wasn't making a big deal out of it. What I said was, after coming back from such a serious injury, they, I mean, I reckon they wrapped him in cotton wool. They weren't telling you the truth. Because if you look at it, apparently as of the Super Cup final, they were, they were, he was literally just playing on grass then. I don't believe that. Because he looked, he looked so good for only being on grass for three weeks. I just don't... I don't buy that. Um, yeah. He look, he's primed De Bruyne. And this will be a period now... From now till May, I'm calling it 17 wins in a row, something like that. No. Clip it. It's just happening, mate. He just looks the wins, absolutely mate. The goals class. That they're going to score now. Powers. Bernardo Silva's there. Just everyone looks, everyone looks. But the only thing I will say, by the way, I don't know if they'll do this, but would you sell off M. Edison in the summer? Yes. For his performance today, I'd get rid of him. When when we, see, when we watched the cup game and it was uh, what's his face? What's their? Edison only played call? about ten minutes. What you on about? He's uh, well. I, 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 the reason that brought me up is the fumble in the first two odd mm. minutes. Um, that that does my head in. He's not um, looked great all season though. He's looked a bit. Uh, what I mean is, I, I don't think. I think there's. Oh, see, I want to say Mikey Magnan's a better keeper, but I know you're going to come up with the usual. Yeah, exactly. But like, what I mean is, is they're Man City, and he's the only per- he's the only person in that back five that I don't have complete confidence over. When you have the Not best the lineup there, he's the only Ruben Diaz. I'm fine with Kyle Walker. I'm fine with Guardiola. I'm fine with, and either Ake or Kanji. I'm fine with. But Do I think I'm, he's or, off... or even John Stones. If you want to put John Stones in there, Do you think um, he's but... been off the burner now for about a season and a half. Oh, he's a bit a bit shaky. No, he's, he's still not been, been good. Amazing. He's still been good, but like, do you know when like? I just feel like he's not quite there still. He's not quite at his highest again. He makes like mistakes and like near misses. I I, I said this either on a podcast or before we before we actually started doing this. I thought with some of the players at City, now they've won everything, it would just be the case of sound. I'll turn up and play rather than I'll turn up and we'll and I'll we'll win this league. Some I players, think... I feel, you just kind of have... Like, not even just at sea. Like, some players will just turn up and go, I've won everything there is to win. Those players will get I'll frogged just, I'll just, under Pep. I'll just turn up on a Pep won't yeah, part with complacency. And, and I agree with you. It might, it might be complacency. Let's face it. What, two seasons ago, arguably, it was a tie between him and Alisson, who was the best keeper in, in the frame. So, yeah, at the moment, I think Alisson wins that every day of the week. I shoulders. don't think you can sell Alisson. There's only a select few in the world that are better than him, and you would need to actually go well over the odds to get them. If it is a Mikey Magnan did, or a player like that, you're going to have to pay I'd at least for, that, 20, 30 million over what the price is. The only two is I'd even go near if a Man City right now would be Donnarumma or, Ma- or Magnan. Donnarumma in both for his would be age. mega bucks. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is they don't really need to strengthen anywhere else right now. Well, well, arguably, they need to bring a De Bruyne and replace it in the next two, three years because what is he, 31, 32? But, like, I don't know. I just, I, I was looking at it thinking, in my head, he's made a couple of them this year. And all right, it didn't lead to a goal. But, do you know, when you're sitting there going, yeah, exactly. It's like Raya against Spurs, was it? When he almost got his, well, when I was at Man City, where he almost got it taken off his feet twice in one game. I don't like that. That yeah, is man, heart in the mouth much. moments. Rather than just send it up the pitch, rather than try yeah, and play out the back, if you've got the high press, just push it. You know what I mean? I still think Ederson's still one of the best in the league. Oh, I, I do, but I just—I don't think caution. I don't think you can caution him. You caution on him, and you don't have anybody else playing Ortega for the fucking season. She only getting Mikey Magna unless she breaks the bank. Well, no, he's been on the skin. They, they will add, but they won't unless you're going to just swap him. <clears throat> Why? Why are you going to sell them now? You may as well sell other players. Just because they're skint, mate. I, I just don't see why they wouldn't. I don't think they're a skint now. I think they sold a few players in the summer. I think they're in a better position than what they were. So I don't think they're actually like kind of death door with transfers. You know what I mean? But no, I, I don't. See, I don't see AC Milan selling Mark Magnan. Good segue, or Gavin. Donald, or We're going to go into him. Arsenal transfers to push them towards the league. Go on, Gav. Even oh, with. I reckon if it's going to push us towards the league, I reckon yeah, what they're already. actually playing at. Just to say, actually, I just want to put this out there before we go through the transfers. Gavin did say off camera that he would he would expect Arsenal to win the league if they beat Liverpool 
at Anfield. Oh, that's right. Yes, sir. I wondered where I wondered where you're going with that. Yeah, if we if we if we beat Liverpool at Anfield, I think we were um, favourites out of everybody. Maybe apart from City, City are still fucking there. But I think if we had beaten Liverpool and actually won the games we were supposed to after it um, against fucking West Ham and uh, whoever it was after that, uh, um, we would have been in a better position. But Hey ho, we didn't, and we shit the bed. So now we're out in Dubai, sunning it up with Arteta and Salt Bay's bloody steakhouse. Oh, fucking brilliant. Get the pen and oh, paper and draw new fucking tactics. Um, so apparently Everton are going to, well, would accept 60 million for Amadou Onana. Um, I think he is an ally. I've loved him at Everton. I think he is good. I think he would make our defend, uh, midfield a lot better. Um, obviously, it doesn't fix our issues with strikers. So we are linked with a boy from the La Liga. What's his name? I reckon his name. It's like 25 million or something. Um, I want to say he plays for Girona. I want to say. Um, and apparently Brentford are looking at him as a replacement to Tony. But we're looking at him now. Who would you but get in? Who would I get in? If you had to get someone in to try and win you the league, who would you get in? What do you need? It's the guy we've been linked with for many, many years. Ben's him on a six month loan. Carrying the only Benzema. thing the only thing that would absolutely screw that up is his wage. Yeah, he doesn't want to be in Saudi. He's not. He's he's not turned up for the past three, four training sessions, and these managers when he's not traveling, traveling with us to Dubai, so he's he's just kind of stuck in limbo. He doesn't want to be there, but no one will kind of go for him because of his wage. But I would take him. I don't see why not. For for a six for a six month loan, and then try and get Tony in the summer. So um, is, that also, is that just Onana's Onan the only main in? Um, we apparently the um, of a publication, uh, Arsenal. The main target is defence. Apparently, the first the first player to come in would be a defender. Why? They didn't state who, but because uh, Jacob Kivward is apparently out the door. Apparently, <laughs> no shit. Um. <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't agree with that Yubi thing there. I think as a centre back he was good. It's when he was getting pushed out of positions he didn't want to be he was shit. Oh, I've um, only gone off what I've seen of him. He wasn't brilliant, but again that might have been. I, in that position uh, but you've again. seen him at left back and centre mid. You've not seen yeah. him at centre back. But when, when he played at centre back, he was actually good. The best games he played was he's at centre back. Um, it's no be it's no been linked with uh, like any defenders to Arsenal. It's just been the fact of that what's happening, and we are apparently going for Jeremy Frimpong in the summer to activate yeah, his release clause, um, because it cuts down like ten fifteen million off his price tag or something. Do you want him? Yes, I remember him at Celtic, and he was good then. There we go. Um, Another Celtic player, um, uh, but you have to sell yeah. right. To get oh, we need, in. yeah, yeah, Havertz fucked us. He runs that, mate. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's fair, well, by 65 million, you could have spunked that into Onana. <laughs> right, if you're looking to strengthen defence, and you're bringing in a defender, surely you'd get rid of Gabriel and bring someone in, I don't know. Why? Why? Because surely you could bring someone better in. If you're, if you're planning on bringing in another centre-back, surely you bring on someone to replace him, no? But the problem is you have to sell people to get people in. So yeah. if you only sell Gabriel, you're gonna to have to buy someone equally valued at Gabriel's price. Who are you getting? The oh, only no, one that I was having was Esri Consa. Ga- Gabriel's so, stock stock has went up the past couple of seasons. Maybe it makes no sense to sell him now. Party, I like him. Cash in twenty million to Saudi. It's in um, Yeah, Julio, bye bye. Um, in Ketia. Absolutely, you can fuck you off the user palace. I don't give a fuck who it is. You can't um, sell the number full time. Yeah, uh, we can. Um, <laughs> we sold on we sold on me when he was 
Fucking... Yeah, but half three done plenty for you. You didn't just hide in the shirt and the next year go. Fuck Mate, off, I'm son. not. I'm not going to sit here and wait for Enkia to do fucking plenty because I'll be <laughs> dead. Um, apparently Smith Rowe to Aston Villa. Apparently Villa are wanting him. Um, that annoys me as a West Ham fan. <clears throat> I would have took him on loan to be honest with you. Not that I'll I think take you're him interested now. in loan. You play but... a mid, play a midfield right now of Rice, uh, Odegaard, and Smith Rowe. Said this. I said this. I, I, the only, thing, said I, would, this the only thing I would worry me is I don't think Emil Smith has the legs to do that for ninety minutes in that role as box to box. But I might be wrong there. Um, so if you if you're asking me, if we had to sell players to get players in. Sell Kevoir, I like him, but sell Kevoir. Uh, sell Zinchenko, sell Party, sell El Nani. Is this not the problem Cedric, Is this is, sell is this not? Is this not a problem, though? Because you're looking at it going, sell all of these players, but then you were moaning last year that you had no depth. So then you're just getting rid of your depth. But we, didn't, but we, did, but we, didn't, but we didn't use those players. No, except right, from no. Zinchenko and Party. Yes, yeah, so the two of the four. And Kivoir has been playing left-back for the last couple of weeks, hasn't he? Yeah, but Kivoir's already been linked to be, to be moved. Cedric's been dead with yeah. for two years. Oh, yeah, Cedric, Nelson yeah. hasn't performed. Yeah, Mohamed no Nani should be gone. I was going to say, you've wanted rid of that many for a while, yeah, haven't you? Well, four mil, uh, about five million for Cedric. Yeah, you're saying five that it's better than fucking nothing. What I mean is, is, is what I would like... We, I, we I, didn't sign him for an awful lot, though. I don't no, think. no, 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 it was from Southampton, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a lot. I think yeah, no, no, Chambers I cost fucking more. Jesus Christ. Um... <sighs> You know, what I meant was, it's like you said, like last year it was the argument that, oh, one player got injured and a lot of their argument was that Saliba got injured and you had nothing there. Yeah. And now you just want to get rid of your... Thing. It feels like you want to panic buy to try and get the league this year. You, you know you know what? I, I get I get where you're coming from from what, from what you're saying, but if you look at the players that I've mentioned, apart from maybe two, they've not be, they weren't being used. I get Nani wasn't being used, Cedric wasn't being used... Um, Kevlar yeah, argu- wasn't really being used. Yeah. The, um, see, the argument would be the, the 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 argument would be party parties in Chenko and Kevlar would be the three you probably don't want to get rid of, but are probably the most valuable three to get rid of. I think you need to with party. Uh, I, I I like him and stuff, but he's been nursing an injury since November, right, and he's okay. only just back on the grass. Like. He is class on his day, but I'd want a fit player rather than a half fit player. And if you do have a good January, can you win the league? Nah. Oh, Ken, what? In my head, I'm like, no, sorry. You said in that my heart, I'm ben like. shook his head. Is there no, no, I'm not you? even looking at Ben's shaving that head. Like, I'm <laughs> just. My heart is going, yes, we can win the league. My head's going, no, not this year. Not this year. So I have to go off my head over my heart. Ben, transfer to West Ham. Uh, I'm ready for depression. Uh, so we've got more going out than we have coming in. We've, got, we've shown interest in Jack Clark. We've shown interest in Steve Bergwijn. They're the only two relatively based rumours that are going mm-hmm. about that we're actually going for them two players. On the way out, Apparently, one that I didn't know about, Kufel's apparently unhappy with his place at the club, so he's looking to leave. Uh, Kerry is going. Agwe is looking to go. Connor Coventry has gone. Um, who else? There was another one that I found. Someone else is planning on leaving as well. Um, I just... we don't, so, I, What we're actually interested in, compared to what's actually leaving, uh, we're losing a lot of depth. Yeah, the... the uh... You missed one out that I saw that was uh, Wilfred Nonto from Leeds. I didn't see um, that, yeah. But uh, to background some of this, Kufel wants the... Kufel's looking to leave. It's not actually. I think it's his agent pushing it. Um, he's not yeah, happy with the new deal he was offered. Yeah, he's unhappy um, with life at the club, and that was, which is part of the... No, it, it, yeah, it's the new deal. Apparently, it was a slap in the face. Um, that's not a surprise. Um, not and Aged no. Aged as well is an out possible out that's apparently due to the fact that Moyes sees him uh, having errors uh, in games. Uh, I don't know who he's going to use to replace him at left centre back because we don't have one. But <laughs> no. as I said, maybe Kevin Nolan slots in there for a season. 
Um, Moisey laces the boots off. The uh, the two main ins, you're right with Jack Clark and Bergvall. I'll give you a bit of a background on that. Jack Clark is wanted by Moyes. Shock, he's English. Of course he is. And has no pace, by the way, for a left winger. Um, Stevie Bergwine and Nonto are wanted by Tim Steiton, the director of football, who brought in, who is responsible for Kudus and pa- uh, Paqueta and Did he watch Alvarez. Did watch them, I um, yeah. uh, That was going to be and- my... And uh, apparently, a... it's up to Sullivan who decides the transfers this month. At the moment, I'm I assuming think... they just played a game of Uno or something to decide who who gets to decide them. And it's not been it's not been finalised yet because we apparently haven't made any offers to anyone. I think um, Bergvine is the way he played at Spurs. Uh, would he, would he be better if he got more time? I'm not even sure whether he would be. I don't we have think a Bergwijn I've... at the club. We have a Bergwijn that's what at I mean. the club. I don't think we need corner. another Deadwood striker. I don't think that's going to work. I also he's don't want to huh? he, he, He's not even a striker. He is. He is an. He was. A, a, he was a winger before he went to Spurs. But yeah, but PSV, he was doing bits, and then he went to Spurs, and he just I reckon didn't bring his right boots or something. I reckon he just he just wasn't the same player. Like why? But is that why? who you need? No, so so what we need is uh, uh, Moyes has got this fucking concept that he wants all his wingers or his front four to have no pace apart from Jared Bowen, and this Tim Steiton seems to go. We actually might need a bit of pace as well. I, I, all right, Bergvain doesn't have a, doesn't have a huge amount, but he but w- he does have pace. But also mm-hmm. as well, Maxwell Corne has pace on the bench. Yeah. Why isn't he being used? Um. A January time is always frustrating as a West Ham fan because, of, because David is. Moyes and the, and the CEOs always trot out that it's hard to do business in January. Apparently, we're the only club that we struggle to do business in January because um, in North London, they've currently done two six signings. Good signings as well, in my opinion. And so, do you think Flynn Downs will be away after his loan at Southampton? Uh, that's, a non, that, that's apparently a negotiable as of the summer. Um, no, I don't want him to go. No, um, I. I, I'd like I, I, I'd like... I'd like Suchek to be put on the back burner on the bench, to be honest we are. And if you want to play three of those type of midfielders... You should centre-back. I just... Fuck him, fuck him off at striker. Put him on centre-back. Don't give Moisey yes. ideas. Because he'll do, he'll do anything <laughs> to keep that boy in the fucking start at 11. Mate, um, you might not have a fucking choice. But apparently well, as well, yeah. additional, additional to the people that I've mentioned, he also wants four hours away. He wants corner away. He wants Dude, Solskjaer to get away. Here's, a, here's a question for you. Do you just fuck money up a wall? Like, no, yeah. Respectfully, I'm not, not having a go at you, but respectfully, do you just fuck money up the wall? Because no, Corne was actually decent, but he doesn't get games. For Niles, I always say Cazorla was better than him, but he's still a decent player. But you've got the likes of those that actually can do a job that don't get used or paid money for. It's not, money, it's not us fucking the money up the wall. Moyes is the problem. But there's uh, like he's won a trophy now, so they won't question what he does for the next like, three years unless we get relegated. But that's, and it's, that's, it's that's actual not bollocks, a way to run a club. No, it's in not. In my no. opinion, but it literally, like, I, I I agree with I you. I like Corne, and I I like I like Skamaka, but he had a clash of opinions with Moyes, oh, and then they binned him. Sorry, ding ding ding! You've just you've brought up something. Had a clash of Arsenal opinion. target. Oh, Skamaka's a an Arsenal target. Do you know what will fuck me off, right? Is if you get him and he becomes an absolutely outstanding player, that's not all Moyes to blame. There is no other player. reason. He is a good player. Yeah. I didn't rate him. When he did both I, in Europa League. I didn't rate him at West Ham and I didn't rate him at Italy. It wasn't just while he was playing at Hughes. I didn't rate him when he was actually in the Italy squad. So we're, I think we were in the in the, the pub watching uh, an Italian game because I think you, I think it was before you had he would actually played for years and you wanted to see what he was actually like. I think he was poor. I, I don't know what it is. I think his attitude's fucking wrong. The uh, Babel, the aggade one, I can, the one, I can kind of understand, but not in January. Um, I, 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 I do agree. He has mistakes in him. He does have mistakes in him. But also, as well, I look at it and I think maybe that's a West Ham thing because for Morocco, he is very good. So I, I, I don't know. Um, here's a here's a name that hasn't been brought up, but I think he would do really well at use. Played for Chelsea, Akim Ziyech. I think he would do really well at West Ham. Yeah, with his te- technical much. ability. 
You talk about money. No, no, no. I think you could get him on the cheap now. Well, he's yeah. also at loan, isn't he? He's he's back at. Is he at loan or is he? No, or I thought he had left. Was he? Uh, maybe I don't know. I I just I think we're doing. Uh, he's one of those things where he's looking at it going. Oh, we're sick. We might as well take a punt in selling everyone in January and open that our full elevens stays fit to the end of the season. We've been we've been on this ride. We went on this ride a couple of years back. We literally sold Jose Font, and then a week later, had two centre back injuries within four days, and then had no centre backs. So that will happen at some point this season. And when it does, I'll come back to this video um, and cry. But my no, my, my overall feeling, I, I don't want. Do you know what? I like that Tim Strachan. I like what he's trying to do with the club. He, he he brings over good, solid European talent, and I actually like the way he's trying to mould the team. He brought in Kudus. He brought in Alvarez. He apparently had a hand in Paqueta. It's he. I just don't understand. If all three of those have worked, why don't you trust him then? But. Because Moyes won us a cup. No, Moyes, yeah. out. Get into fuck. Honestly, I'm sick of looking at that sack of shit. Yeah, you can. You've, you're on about if Moyes left. You're on about you want uh, the Zerbi, J. No, I didn't say that. Do you know what do you see in your TikTok? No, Please, I, Ruth. I said I'll take the Zerbi right now. Okay, there's not I a big took, difference uh, with what I said. No, no. When I mean that, as in, I, I would have took a. I, I'd take Thomas Frank right now. I'd take the Zerbi. I would have took Emery. I'd take Mourinho on the continent right now. Um, I'm shocked you've not mentioned one one person in that. Go on, Alonso. He has done fucking bits at Bayer Leverkusen. He hasn't, he hasn't lost a game. Yeah, he's, but the problem he, with him he's is, played mate, he... 28, 24 and drew four. Yeah, but the problem is Klopp's leaving Liverpool probably in the next three years. Where do you think he's going to go? Yeah, he'll go back to yeah, Liverpool. But if, yeah, but you've got three, four years to get him in. Yes, no. So you have two years of you have two years of someone moulding a club in the way he wants to do it, and then he leaves for Liverpool because they tap him up. I I I see him more going to Madrid than Liverpool, but that's besides the point. But what I, I mean, right, but what I mean is contract, he's already but... predisposed at another team. Is what I'm saying. His dream is what I mean is he's. Like, man, I, do you know what? I'll take a punt on Graham Potter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Potter, Jose, I take the Serbi. Yeah, I, I, I like the football he plays. At least Jose just... Mourinho, when he does something, it makes sense. I, I agree with what somebody put in your comments, um, one of the comments in your videos, Ben. Moyes and Mourinho play like an old-style, fashioned game of football. You need somebody with... Do like new ideas to actually but come I responded and do it. to that comment. I understand. With, yeah. when, Moyes, when Moyes does that football, right, he doesn't really do anything. Mourinho's won trophies off of playing that type of football. Now, not, I'm not saying he's got, he'd come to West Ham and he'd set the league on fire because I don't think that's the case. But I think we'd actually get closer to winning stuff. And like Jay said, Mourinho's decisions seem to make sense. Oh, he's playing shit. I'll take him off. Moyes will sit there and go, well, that striker gave me a bit of gob, so he's getting fucked off. And, right, it's 80 minutes, now we can make a change. He's just not reactive enough. And then, okay. in turning around, then he'll have a pop-up West Ham fans going, well, what do you expect? Do you I think expect Chelsea cared when they played shit the football, when they won a league? Do you think, no, Marie, no, do you think Chelsea cared when Mourinho play. won a league with them? No, but I think Mourinho's sell-by date's passed. Look at his time at Roma, yeah, he got them to a European final. But got... that was his only final he's got beat. But if I didn't watch West Ham, so play shit passed. football. I'd he rather two, see... Two years. I'd rather see us play shit football and, and get somewhere and do something than play shit football and then Moyes just turn around and go, what do you want? So, for, um, so from an outside yeah. point of view then, who should we go for? If you don't like Mourinho because he doesn't play good enough football, who, who who's there? I think Potter is... I think you were right with Potter, mate. I think Potter... Yeah, was I, 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 I was on about Potter when he was at Chelsea, but obviously I wouldn't know because he's in Saudi Arabia, I believe. Um, I like Brendan Rodgers, but I don't some, know that I'd Somebody that you probably wouldn't want because he looks fucking haunting is Cooper. No. Through Forrest. No, I think I think at the start of the season when he was when he looked like he was going on a run and everything looked all right, but then when he's had the second season of the same slump in the middle of the season, I'm not okay with that. I don't want to be part of that. 
I think with better players, you do well. <laughs> Why is Nuno doing a job of him now, though? No, but that's always the same. A new manager comes in and it, it normally picks up. They look bloody it's always good, the same. Is all I'm saying. That, 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 we've got actually, fucking do you know what? Next. Random manager out of nowhere, that Daniel Farker. I didn't think he was a bad manager. Mm-hmm. He, like for for a for a, a, a Norwich team which you knew were kind of going to go down until they started absolutely hemorrhaging goals. He's playing really good football. It, 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 what Norwich played uh, was decent. I just so, think if if you get Mourinho in, if you get Mourinho at West Ham, we win a trophy in the next twelve months. That's fine. I I would say I don't know if he's got a job, and I think he's been sacked by Bayern. Julian Nagelsmann. Yeah, but to, uh, you, you already turned out Tottenham for not wanting to spend enough money in the summer. He ain't gonna want West Ham. <laughs> no. It ain't a dig. No, I'm, I'm not just shooting down your ideas. I'm just, I'm, I just, uh, he, he interviewed Spurs and apparently he was ri- he, he ridiculed Daniel Levy to how much Daniel Levy wanted to spend on him uh, in the summer. So I, I, I'd agree with you. I'd love him because the football. Yeah, in my is, opinion, it doesn't matter who you get in. In my, in my opinion, no, I don't think it'll matter saying, who, I, who. I, I, I you would need, guarantee you need this to shift right upstairs. now, right? I guarantee this right now. If we got Mourinho in the summer, right, we'd win a trophy for Arsenal. Do I put the house on it? That that man is a Ooh. serial winner. If he go if he goes into the Premier League in the summer with a team that West Ham has got, he is the third best manager in the league, and that it's isn't even a discussion. Confirmed. That's a fact. You wouldn't know. Roma are his contract, so he, he was going he got to a final with Spurs. He got to a final with Spurs, an absolute deadbeat Spurs team, and they binned him the day before. Which is just stupid. Could have been the first chance to win a title in years. He's got to back to back finals with Roma. Most, some of their players are better than the ones you've got. Who Spurs? Not that Spurs that, team. That time, yeah, I would say so. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I would still take. I would uh, Lloris back then. I would take over both your keepers. Okay, I'd at the start of the season, if you wanted to win a Premier please. League, would you have Arteta in or would you have Mourinho in? I wouldn't have Mourinho in. You'd have Arteta in then. I'd have well, Arteta in. Yeah, so I just. Well, you're on about this season. Mourinho's yeah, I, I past think it. Don't, I think... Mourinho is one of the best managers ever. Ever. Mourinho's he's, past he's, it. He's gone. He's, he's past he's it. Going, he's got into two consecutive European finals and your manager has finished eighth twice. Did he not win the Copa de Italia? Two, Copa de Italia two seconds. With, uh, he fin- uh, uh, only one of those was a whole season. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, but you can't have it both ways. You can't say one in the FA Cup when, that, when he pretty much came in with the FA Cup well, given to him. How? Well, because it wasn't his team. The FA Cup starts in fucking December. He came in January. No, it doesn't. The FA Cup doesn't even begin. It begins in January. So he had the six months of the whole competition. What are you on about? It wasn't his team. Like, this, is, this is the thing as well. He is literally I as completely successful get as Ten that. Hag. Pardon? He's literally as successful as Ten Hag in England. Okay. You're right, finishing eighth twice and winning one FA Cup compared to a League Cup and finishing third in his first season is delusional. Is that what well, we're saying? You want, you want Moyes that went to, what was it? Was it the, it was Europa last this. season and didn't fucking win it. Fair enough. It re- his record stands for itself. But have you seen how he's playing with Roma? In Rome, I've got a few decent players. We're Fucking playing that shit. way anyway. I'm sorry, just because he's have like had the, what two good months. Well done. He isn't going to fucking turn your ship around. Two no, good but months. It's not two good months. It's... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter Stink what money you brought months, in. If you're it? not going to spend the money, it doesn't matter who you fucking bring Stink in. Isn't two no, good months, is it? We're already playing bad football, and Mourinho will win us something playing bad football. Whereas no, he's, no, he Moyes, wouldn't. Yeah, it would. Well, mate, he's he's doing doing evidence that. Evidence that. Why? Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? He wouldn't win you the Prem. He's always seemed to struggle in the in the FA Cup. Carabao Cup would be the only thing I would say you would you would. Yeah, I said he'd win something. Be... I didn't specify. I, mate, I'd, I'd have, I'd be happy with the League Cup. Even We've already won a European trophy. I'd be happy with the League Cup. If if we if we finished within the top ten and we got the League Cup, mate, that's a successful season for me. I'm not a delusional fan, mate. I'd be happy if West Ham won that. We're not going to win the league. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not delusional. But if, like, he got a shock, a shit Spurs team to the League Cup final, they sacked him a day before because they couldn't be fucked paying his bonus. He got Ryan Mason in and they bottled it. Mourinho would have won that game. 
he wins finals. He's a serial winner. Now, I'm not saying he's going to make West Ham be one of the most successful team in England, but he would win us a trophy. I do not see him winning anything. He's, I don't see Mourinho winning anything at us. See, I, I, I don't. I I think Saliba as a it's centre-back. N- it's, pardon? With a, Sali- with a Saliba as a centre-back and Gabriel I don't, I don't, no, I, I don't see him. I don't see him doing it, no. You have so if you put Ramsdale, Saliba, and Gabriel, don't worry, they, 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 they don't compare to the three. I'm just about to say, but that 0405 season where he had a good two centre backs and a good goalkeeper, he conceded 15 goals and 24 clean sheets. That's back then. The That's back he's then. Got he's got he isn't the same. Record for a reason. It's it, all in the past. He isn't the same. Mate. I would like to see what he does. I would like nah, to see what he does. I, if, he, nah. if he comes to the Prem, I, and I think he will, I don't see him staying in Europe. I think he'll come back to the Prem. Whatever club gets him. I think defensively they'll be sound, and I think they'll do bits. I don't know where he goes though. If I, I we need to get rid of Moisey, and it doesn't sound like our board's going to be doing that anytime soon. I, so I, I think Gaz's right in a sense that I don't think Mourinho will come to West Ham because I don't think he'd get the money that he wants. No, no, I lot wouldn't spend the money. But I do honestly believe with this team right now, sick with Moyes, I think genuinely, I, I don't know. This is, I, I genuinely think we'd be fifth, if not a bit higher, right now with Mourinho, and we'd probably still be in the League Cup. I I I disagree. I yeah, don't can't th- say I why think you disagree. Mourinho's... You just disagree that Mourinho is the most I, I can't. successful manager ever. Just is past it. Full stop. Right, I because it's, it's history. Fine, he can go anywhere and do a fucking job. Then go on. But it, but he's he's, he's well, then that's not he, he he won't look at Ancelotti. Ancelotti's one of the best managers ever. He went to Everton and he shat it because Everton was no, a shit team. No, but Ancelotti team. was past it at Everton and then went back to Real Madrid and won a Champions League. Won a Champions and League. Liga. That's what I mean. The problem, I agree that there, some some good managers go to teams which they can't play with. I completely agree with that. But I feel with the fact that at the back, we're, well, until, until we flog off of our centre-backs. He got the players he wanted at Roma. He got the players he wanted at Roma and they but are not can, performing under him. He could demand that at teams because of because of the type of manager he is he can go to a club and even even with our lot who hate spending money at the best of times and come up with any excuse that they can is he could go to a team and he can go I want this player you either get this player or you're not getting the results we're going to get and because of who he is and because of what he's done in the past whether or not he's passed it now the, the club kind of has to cave a bit I'm not, I'm not saying that's not my argument they tried that's to, not my argument <laughs> My argument is he got the players in at Roma. Roma went, yep, you want, those, you want those players, you do the hard work, you get them, we'll give the money for them. And he is struggling with them. Did he not win the Coppa Italia? He's struggling with them. No, I don't, did they? I don't think they did. I thought he won the Coppa Italia. In, he's, he's, he's struggling, in, one he's struggling in Europe. He's struggling in Europe. That he's managed and saying that he's passed it. Is that all we do in managers now? Right, two two seconds. He hasn't. He, when he won the Conference League, he was still struggling then. I get your point, where he can win stuff. I can see that, but I don't see him doing that in the Premier League anymore. It's not just the last time. I don't see him doing it anywhere. I think if he doesn't come to us, I don't know where he goes. I'd be interested. No, 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 I'm, I'm not saying he will come to us. I'm not saying that. I just I, all I'm saying is. I, I, I'm not. I, I I'm think... not discrediting Moyes. Um, Moyes. I'm not discrediting Mourinho, though. I think he's. He... I've said this before. I think he's one of the best ever. But I. I think ev- like everything, you have a, a best by date, and unfortunately, I think his has come. All right, we shall leave there. That was unexpected, but we shall leave there. Um, we'll we'll do the other half of the game week next week. Gav, who have you got? Forest, I think. Is that home or away, do you know? Uh, I think we're away. We are midweek against Bristol City away. And then Sheffield United away as well on Sunday. So we'll uh, we'll probably have two losses straight away there. I was going to say, I'm not going to comment, but... Yeah. No, I'll, I'll put it fully out there. Bowen's injured at the moment, but it looks like Antonio's injured again still. Kudus is with his national team and Paquette is injured as well because... Moisey tried to bring him back a week after getting injured with a hamstring injury. Uh, sorry, a calf injury. So, yeah, brilliant. Uh, but, yeah, we'll be back next week uh, with the other half of this game week. Um, but apart from that, enjoy your weekend, lads. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.